Welcome back to the AAA MF YouTube channel. Yes, I'm standing in front of a Lamborghini Revuelto. This is my friend Daniel's car. It would have been on the channel sooner, but he's been out of the country. But now we have the keys. This is something very special. This is the first time Lamborghini have put an electric motor into that V12 flagship. So now we're pumping out just over 1,000 brake horsepower. They've added modern technology to the gearbox, finally, with an eight-speed dual-clutch gearbox, and they've also given it rear-wheel steering. Hopefully, hopefully, it's gonna retain all of the old characteristics of the Kuntash Aventador SV, but have all the modern technology, so it should be easier to drive, and you should be able to use it more of the time. Now, this car comes in Viola Metallic, which is a beautiful color, and my friend Daniel has put carbon everywhere. So these start at 450,000 pounds, but this car comes in at 560,000 pounds. That is a lot of money for a flagship model. However, when you think about what it compares to, I can't think of many other cars, definitely not supercars. Most people would probably compare this to the flagship hybrid car that Ferrari have, which is the SF90. But the SF90 doesn't have that beautiful V12. It has a V8 and it doesn't really have a great soundtrack. The SF90 is phenomenal to drive with the four wheel drive and you can chuck it around a corner like you shouldn't be able to chuck around a thousand brake horsepower Ferrari. However, it doesn't sound like this with a V12 and I can't think of another car apart from the SF90. What else is there that looks as dramatic as a Lamborghini with the dihedral doors? Maybe, maybe, maybe a McLaren 765LT, but that doesn't have hybrid technology, but that is fast enough. It is fast enough. So at 560,000 pounds, we're talking big, big money. Is it worth it? Why don't we find out? So we're in the Revuelto. What a machine, what a machine. Anyone that was worried that this car wouldn't have the presence of an Aventador was wrong. You can still hear that lovely V12. And it's got so much power. Oh. A Lamborghini with a thousand brake horsepower. What more do you want? And you know, the four wheel steering makes it turn in really well. The four wheel drive gives you the confidence to use that thousand horsepower. The brakes are unbelievable. What a machine, what a machine. Listen to the V12. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, you know what they've done? They've basically taken all of the good parts from the Aventador and taken all the modern technology and blended them into this amazing, amazing package. It feels really, really usable. And whoever thought a thousand brake horsepower would be usable. The Ferrari SF90 did show us how that could be done. And I've driven the SF90 a few times and we've taken it to a runway as well and done some drag races and it's phenomenally fast and it handles like a go-kart. But where this differs to the SF90 is that V12 engine that adds another dimension to the supercar. It just sounds so good. You can feel it when you're going through the gears. You can feel that lovely torque. Oh, 
Oh, there's no substitute for a V12 engine. There just isn't. I love it. And, and it looks out of this world. And it almost looks like a, it looks like a Huracan Evo on steroids. Yeah, because for the first time you see it, you think, is that a Huracan Evo or Technica? And then you realize it's, it's a Revu Alto. But I think that's a good thing. Oh, I love it. I love it. All of the technology that they've put on this car just helps you to enjoy the car more, to use the power, to go around the corners faster. You know, a lot of people were intimidated by the Aventador because it had the single clutch. It wasn't that easy to use. It, uh, you know, it was, it was a car that you really had to grab by the horns and drive it hard. And when you did that, it rewarded you. But now that they've got all of this technology on it, it's a much easier car to drive more of the time but it hasn't lost that sense of occasion. Here we go. Oh, lovely, lovely. It's not as raw as an Aventador SV. Um, you know, the SV has all the lovely carbon all the way covering the whole door card. This does have carbon and the interior is exquisite and it feels like a very well-made car but it's not as special as an Aventador SV or SVJ inside the cabin. But remember, this is the base model Revu Alto, and I'm sure over the next three to five years, they're gonna come out with special versions of the Revu Alto, and they're gonna add more carbon fiber, less weight. I don't think they need to add any more power But what a special machine. What a special machine. I mean, they've really done a very good job on this car. At the end of the day, most people buy these cars for the looks. A lot of people don't care how they drive. If they cared how they drive, Lamborghini, you know, probably wouldn't have sold so many cars over the years because a lot of their cars weren't that good to drive. We tested a Countach uh, on the channel, and uh, that was that was a challenge. But this one, whilst it's easy to drive, is also a real occasion. Oh, oh! I want to keep driving this all day. Wow! 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 I think my cameraman's impressed as well because he hasn't said a word. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say everything now because I'm going to give my final thoughts when I get out, when I can actually think about what I've experienced. But I will say this is a very, very exciting car to drive and it feels I would say more special than 99% of anything I've ever been in. We are gonna head back to the Grove Hotel now, which is our base for today, and we're gonna give you our final thoughts on whoa, this thousand brake horsepower Lamborghini Revo Alto. So we've been out in the Revu Alto now for a while, so I can give you some final thoughts. Let's start off by saying I'm lucky enough to have driven nearly the entire Lamborghini range. I used to own a Performante Spider. We featured on the channel a Countach. We featured an Aventador SV, an Aventador SVJ. So I can compare it to all of the other models. And I'm really pleased to say that this retains a lot of the DNA from those cars 
in the new Revuelto. It hasn't lost that character of the old cars. You can still hear that lovely V12. The car has so much presence on the road. And whilst you can see it is a long and wide car, it shrinks around you when you're driving. And the addition of the four wheel steering makes it super tight round the corners, round roundabouts, just like a 992 GT3 does. Uh, the four wheel steering really helps to shrink the car around the corner. So that's fantastic. The build quality is absolutely sublime. The interior is so beautiful with all the Alcantara and all the stitching. It feels like a really, really special place to be. I think what Lamborghini have been really clever about doing is adding all of the modern technology to the old school type of Lamborghini, but retaining the character of the older cars. So they've done a really lovely blend of old and new to make this more drivable, to make it a better car to drive. I, I mean, I had a smile on my face the whole time. Every time I pushed hard, I was surprised at how much feel it gave me, how tight it was. I mean, it's got a thousand brake horsepower. You don't expect cars with a thousand brake horsepower to handle like this, to feel like this, to be as drivable as this. A huge, huge thumbs up from me. The only concern I have is the price. I mean, 560,000 pounds for what is essentially a supercar. It's a lot of money. Would you spend that on this car? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth 560,000 pounds. It is a special car to drive. It does feel like their flagship model. It does feel a lot more special than, say, a Performante. But 560,000, what do you think? Do you think it's cheap because it's like a hypercar? Or do you think it's expensive because it's too much for a supercar? Let me know your thoughts. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. We'll see you soon.